This laptop will provide the parts we need in order to be able to upgrade another laptop that is outdated and very slow to use. Let's try to open it. Remove the memory card from it and also remove the CPU or processor and we'll put it in another laptop that we'll try to upgrade its memory and processor. So let's start. The only components we need in this laptop are the memory card and its processor only. The hard disk, camera, CD-ROM and other movable parts of it were also damaged as this laptop was submerged in the flood and almost three weeks before it was found under the mud. The whole process of how this is done is at a speed equal to 10 times. This is to shorten the video and display the result immediately. Place the removed screws in one place or pouch only, and note where they were removed, so that they can be easily found and restored. This is the processor we need to get, and to use it on the laptop we want to upgrade. We slowly rotate the screws here, so as not to damage the processor. Because the uneven pressure can be harmful to it, while it is being dismantled. Rotate alternately the screws holding the processor. 
This is how our processor needs to be removed and installed. Now that we have got all the parts, that we will need for upgrading another laptop, let's take a look at the laptop we need to upgrade. The first thing we will remove to see and check, is its memory card. Let's find out its value and specs, so we can find out if it's compatible, and if the memory we're going to replace for this laptop will work. Let's start and disassemble the laptop we want to upgrade, slowly and carefully, so that we don't scratch it, and avoid damaging the LCD screen. Now, the next thing we install here is the CPU or the processor. Rotate alternately the screws holding the processor. This is how our processor needs to be removed and installed, so that there is no uneven pressure on each side of it, as we turn the screws. This is the old processor, that we are going to replace, and the one we need to upgrade. And this is the processor that we will install as a replacement for our CPU upgrade. Let's install the processor, clean it and its heatsink, to get rid of the old thermal paste. Let's put a new thermal paste on the processor, apply it in the middle and spread, but only up to the side attached to the heatsink. Rotate alternately the screws holding the processor. This is how our processor needs to be removed and installed, so that there is no uneven pressure on each side of it, as we turn the screws. After the new processor is installed, Return all the disassembled parts to the original place where they were removed, so that we can rebuild our laptop.
Let's now install our memory upgrade on our laptop. And this is what we have been waiting for, to find out if our CPU and memory card upgrading has been a success. Let's plug in the power adapter and turn on the laptop.